Hello and welcome guys to Rise of Industry, a game which I have been trying to figure out for the past 50 minutes. However, I think I figured it out to the point where I can actually like play it for a bit. So that's exciting. That's always good. Um, we're going to do a quick overview and see if we can get a little bit of a shop going or we can start selling to a shop. We have to set a headquarters, though, so we have to choose somewhere we want to stay. Uh, we can either choose this section right up here, or they've got a nice river and stuff. I actually kind of like that. There's also a section right over here, which is kind of nice as well. And we've got a big section over here, a bit of shore. But I think we're going to start our company out over here by Lewisburg. A nice name for a place lewisburg i'm just gonna quickly uh look over and see if there's any coal or anything nearby it would probably be useful probably be pretty darn helpful okay is there anywhere that has good resources what's that is that oil i think that's oil Yeah, placement actually really does matter, so I'm not even going to feel that about taking a while. Um, we're just scouting out for any uh, resources that will be something we're interested in. Everything is just kind of equally meh. So we'll go up here, just because it seems like a pretty large region with oh, a few meh towns you know good enough let's start here okay so we have to figure out what they want what does lewisburg want they want wool gas coal cotton raw rubber wood sand and leather let's figure out what we can actually get let's turn on the resource map oh there's iron ore right there i don't think they actually want it though i don't think they actually want that no they don't that's sad uh there's oil oil gas gas they did want so let's get some of that let's get some of that so we are going to build a bit of industry we're going to go ahead and build this road here and get to work we have the rights to this region already so we don't have to worry about building up and we can go ahead Oh no! Is this a separate? It is a separate area! Ah! Can I relocate? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I guess I am on the other area, but this isn't the end of the world. This isn't the end of the world. We'll just go over here then. We'll ignore that. We'll come back for it later. There's coal up here, so we can still make this work. Okay, here we go. There's a bit of coal up here. We're going to go ahead, bring this up here. We've now got our road to the coal, and let's start extracting it right away. I want to just get something profitable moving. There we go. Okay, so our coal mine is now making coal. Woo. Woo. So now what we have to do is we have to set up a warehouse so that we can actually do something with that coal. So it makes sense. Can we shift and left click? Something, oh, if you shift and left click it, lets you do multiple. Okay, well, I guess it's fine. We'll just uh, do this. I don't know why it forces you to make it go like weird like that I, I wish you could get like a mirrored version of the building but that's okay um there's a building that cannot reach its target don't worry we fix it okay so now what we have to do is we have to request a transport of coal no nope 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 destination choose destination coal and then we want to send it to the city that needs it so lewisburg commercial Lewisburg hardware store. There we go, and that's what we need to do. Okay, let's get started. Let's see if this works. Pretty sure this should work. Um, we probably need a truck uh, station to help them out. 
going that far. Oh, we have to research stuff. Darn. Tech tree. Let's get the... Truck Depot. And then let's also go straight into uh, all of the good stuff that has to do with coal and such. Glass and metallurgy. We got steel and glass. I want to get up to computer memory, which would be exciting. Um, I think concrete actually has demand, though. Okay, let's see if this works. Now that we've unlocked that, we can go into logistics. We can get our truck depot. Oh, they're just... No, they're they're already sending it out. They've already got the range needed. Okay, great. So, look at that. We're sending trucks of coal up to Lewisburg. And hopefully, we will get money for it. There we go. Come on! Go to their hardware store, and yes, we are getting money for it. Okay. So the question is... Okay, they're, they're delivering it. Uh, oh, 26,000. There we go. We made some money. Okay, great. So can we change our prices and stuff? I think we can. I'm just not sure how. What? Okay. Uh, global market. We can see the price of things. There's that. Budget overview. We are currently $15 million we have. That's how much... We spent in construction. Uh, we've sold barely anything so far. So let's hope that we can make more money than we're losing. Because right now, we are not. We're not even close. Not in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> the coal industry is not helping us out much. Okay. So, as it stands, we aren't sending anything between our own industries. However, why is your base flashing red? Oh, that's because it's using a ton of money for something. I don't know what it's using money for, but... I, oh, I think it just uses money to exist. I think just existing costs money. Um, wow, this game is really realistic. Let's, let's start, like, getting water and... Uh, actually, I want to be more industrial. This iron, nobody needs it, though. Do you please start needing more things? You need coal, which we're supplying you with. Um, you need wood. We, we, we can get you some wood. How about, how about we start making some very profitable logging industry? Oh, the environmentalists are going to love me. Okay, here we go. This is where things are going to get lucrative. Let's create a lumber yard. And let's get... Oh, they have entire range. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, so we'll put one over here. One over here. We'll put one just right here. Okay, great. I do see how this is going to make quite a bit of money. Because there is a lot of lumber over here. There is a lot of... uh. A lot of possibility. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. Destination, choose raw resource wood, and we're going to choose to send it straight to the hardware store. Neat. Please send products. I think it's cheaper to send if we uh, use a truck depot. So let me quickly get one of those up. Rock Depot. Nice. Move products around the map. Trucks carry more than normal trucks, but move slower than other trade vehicles. Okay, so we want to 
send this to using the truck depot. Maybe not. Still don't completely understand how to do all this. All I do know is that we're losing a lot of money. I don't know why, though. <laughs> is it because our transport is so far? We're supplying them with so much. Why are we losing so much money? <laughs> good questions. Very good questions. The truck depot does not seem to be helping. Um, and it seems like we're spending a lot... Okay, no. The game's tutorial includes the truck depot. So that's got to be that's got to be an important an important one to do. And then we put another truck depot over near Lewisburg and we add another warehouse. So we do this for Lewisburg. And uh, we'll just do something like this because we're going straight to the hardware store and then we want them to be able to get stuff through trucks as well so we put a truck depot right there and then we want we want coal and we want wood we'll take as much as we can and then we're going to send it to the place right i think this is how we do it okay so that's going to have them send it to there instead and then on this warehouse we're just going to remove the destinations we're actually going to just delete those and instead they're going to send things yes Yes, that is exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, wait. So they're sending it to there, and then they're sending it... I don't know if that's actually more cost-efficient. I mean, the, the trucks hold more. So I guess it is more cost-efficient, because we're only sending, like, half the amount of trucks. Um... And they're bringing it over here. Okay. Nice. Monthly payments of all existing and new loans reduced by 56% by 13 months. Ooh. But there is... It's, <laughs> it's a bid. So we will spend $450,000 on that max. So if, if anyone goes above us on the bit, darn it, <laughs> okay, whatever, I, I'm going to give up on it. Okay, so we have to find a way to actually make money because right now we're, we're still, we're still eating, eating so much cost. I think we need to scale things up. Or maybe not. Why are we losing so much money? I think, I think that's the question that needs to be asked. Where is the money being lost? <laughs> Uh, how to earn money efficiently. It said before that in order to make money, you have to set your prices higher. Not sure how to do that. One second, there's got to be a way to do it. There's got to be somewhere that we set our prices. on the store that's how you make it i know how to make that but that's not what i'm interested in where is the markup how can i charge them more Did I just break that? No, I didn't. Okay, how do I change that? Here's some money to make up for the losses. Thank you, the G-Man makes money for the $2 super chat. We're starting to figure this out, which is good. Uh, we 
just have to figure out. Oh, I wonder if it's the headquarters that handles that. That would make sense. Loans, contracts, advancement, research, loans, contracts, overview, better headquarters. Okay, not any of that. Can't get any more of those. Gameplay alert. Auction lost. Yeah, I know. Research complete. Concrete. Oh, nice. Um, I don't know what people actually want. What do they want? You guys want leather, sand. You know what? Sand is probably really lucrative. I, I wonder if we can just make a ton of money just getting sand. Like, right over here. Let's just create... I mean... There's no way sand could be that hard to get. All we have to do is just like... Bam. Oh, never mind. You can put the sand collector there, but you can't actually put the thing there. Okay, never mind. That, uh... That was incorrect. <laughs> that was incorrect. Sand is not easy. Okay. Now let's ask how we change our prices. There's gotta be a way to change. Because we're making... We're selling a lot... If we can just increase the price a little bit. Okay, how do I change my price? Do do do. Do do do. Dispatch cost. I know that. They start. Careful now. We'll need water. Uh. Supplies. Production. Recipes. But how do I change the amount I'm selling for? I'll keep an efficiency. Controls. Resource mechanics. Global market. Huh. I, this is really a uh, absolute beginner's guide. Ah, oh, great. Great. First steps, and then we build our industry. So, get our efficiency up. Okay, well, I guess we don't set the price then. I thought I read something about that, so that's confusing. But I guess we're going to focus on our efficiency then. Let's go back to coal. 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 I don't know where coal... Oh, efficiency. Gatherer's efficiency. Okay. Well. There is the potential that that'll help a lot. The research is expensive. Okay, that's really expensive. So as it stands, we are not doing absolutely terrible. I mean... We aren't bankrupt quite yet. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, though. This would probably be much more exciting if I knew exactly what I was doing, but we're going to figure this out. As it stands, we've got a slightly simplified version going on here. We've got something happening, which is better than nothing happening, which is where I was at for a while. Man, you are spending a lot of money on that research. 
Like, a lot of money on that research. Is it even worth it? I guess we could build a giant farm right here. I mean, I guess the more things we make, the better. <laughs> Hopefully. So if we wanted to make a farm, we'd have to be kind of complicated because we need water for the farm. So that means we need a gatherer for water. And then we have to like put this. There we go. Great. Water. Give me water. Fantastic. Oh, that's a good bid. Okay. So getting water. Do I have to transfer water? I don't think so. Wait, do I? Uh, pathing alert. Cannot reach. Oh, there's a road that needs to go in between them. Okay. I swear, if water needs to be moved on a truck, and I can't use pipelines, that would be really annoying. Oh, it is moved on a truck. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Okay, so that's fun. Um, let's go ahead and build a farm just to see what happens. Oh, I don't have the research. I literally can't. Well, that's sad. I guess we're just going to sell water then. Do you need water? I don't think you do. <laughs> Great. Well, now we've got a complete money sink right here. We're just going to shut it off. Goodbye. You're just not doing anything. Okay, so, as it stands, I'm not 100% sure how this game works. Uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to figure it out, and we're stumbling a little bit along the way. However, we're kind of breaking even-ish. A little bit. I think. I have no clue, but this has been Rise of Industries. I'm sure I have no clue what I'm doing. Um, I'm sure I'm doing a terrible job, but it's a game. It exists, and I'm going to play more on my own, try to figure it out, and make another video on it. So thank you all for watching. Ooh, we actually were making a profit for about two seconds. And with that, uh, Vooper Inc. signing off. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, jeez.